Namaste and Punarapi Hardika Swagatam. So we have been looking at the, all the verbs from the different groups thus far. Today is the last lecture. It is uh, lecture number 35 and this is going to be an introduction to the conjugation of the verb Jnya to know from the Kriyadi Gana or the ninth group in the various tenses and moods. So the introduction to the Kriyadi Gana, I am going to do an introduction to the Kriyadi Gana uh, and this is the ninth group. So we have looked at the different groups. So we had already done the first and the last one, so Bhuadi Gana and the Churadi Gana and then we looked at the series. In fact, this whole week was dedicated to just familiarizing oneself with the different conjugations of the different verb forms in the Parasmepadi and the Atmanepadi. So having said that, uh, today let us look at this very important verb which is the verb Jnya or to know. So the sound of the Jnya itself uh, could be either the Jnya, you normally hear it pronounced as the Gya, but because the Jnya is a combination of J and Nya, I would tend to prefer the pronunciation of Jnya. So you quickly go over the J like that Jnya or Jnya, Jnya like that. Okay, So it can be either of the two. I am still working out which one I am more com comfortable with, but okay. So, uh, continuing, uh, we will do some building of vocabulary there. Let us look at the Vartamana Kala and the Bhavishya Kala of Jnya. So, you have already done this before in our previous lessons. So, let me see if you can remember. Saha Janati Tau Janitaha Te Jananti. Uttamam, any, any bells ringing as you do that? Astu, Tari. Twam. Jana si yuvam jani thaha yuyam jani tha aham janami avam jani vaha vayam jani maha astu. And Bhavishya Kalam, do you remember? Jnasyati. And then the rest of it follows like the Bhuadigana. So, quick look at the table there. Uh, Let us say it aloud together. Janati jani taha jananti janasi jani taha jani tha janami jani vah jani maha uttamam and so you can actually feel the rhythm of it and enjoy the uh, just this mere recitation of it and like I tell you uh, like I have told you previously also the sounds of the Sanskrit language uh, are much more than just meant for uh, communication. These sounds stimulate very specific parts in the brain which in turn stimulate very specific energy centers in the body. So just saying these words aloud can actually give you a very special experience. Astu. So let us look at uh, the verb in the future. So Jnasyati, Jnasyataha, Jnasyanti, Jnasyasi, Jnasyataha, Jnasyatha, Jnasyami, Jnasyavaha and Jnasya Maha Uttamam, which are the other groups in this, uh, sorry, which are the other verbs in this group. So we have, it is the Kriyadi Ganaha coming from the uh, root form of the verb Kri. So Kri means to buy. So Krinati to buy and Kreshyati, Bhavishakale Kreshyati. Ash to eat, uh, Ashnati and Ashishyati. Grah to take. So it becomes Grah, grahnati and grahishyati. Next, band becomes badnati, bhantsyati. That is quite a special form, bhantsyati. Do not hear it too often, but it is uh, important to know the conjugation of the verb band in the future. So, band means to bind, as you can hear it in the word itself. So, grah is to uh, uh, to capture, to grasp. So, you hear it in the English word grasp as well. So, grah, grasp. It is also the word for the planet grah and therefore the word gravity. You, you hear these similarities in the sounds of these words. So, grah which the, is that which used to attract Okay, and therefore the planets were known as graha. Astu. So, we have looked at that and what is the common form, what is the common characteristic of these verbs uh, in this group? So, you see that there is a Na that gets added there. Okay. So jnya became janati, kri becomes kri nati, and ashnati, grihnati, badnati. So the na is a typical feature of this particular uh, group of verbs. Maybe we will just do a pause and I would like you to make a sentence saying that uh, 
यू टू नो संस्कृत वेल यू टू नो संस्कृत वेल से दैट यू टू वुड बी युवाम नो वुड बी जानी था संस्कृत एंड वेल सम्यक युवाम संस्कृत सम्यक जानी था आई एड अनादर सेंटेंस टू दैट यू ऑल नो संस्कृत संस्कृत वेल सो यू यम संस्कृत सम्यक जानी था इफ यू कम अप दिस फार देन आई कैन अश्योर यू दैट यू बीन यू अक्वायर्ड अ सर्टन लेवल ऑफ द लैंग्वेज अस्तु मूविंग ऑन नाउ सो वी हैव द आजनिया द अनद्यतन भूतकाल एंड द क्रियातिपतिल रिंग सो अत्र जानाति बिकम्स जानातु और जानीतात सो वी फाइंड दिस फॉर्म अगेन द जानीतात व्हिच इज अक्रॉस वेरियस वर्ब ग्रुप्स एंड देन जानीताम जानन्तु हां सो जानातु डजंट बिकम जानन्तु बट जानन्तु उत्तमम जानी ही जानीतात दैट्स टुगेदर जानीताम सॉरी जानीतम एंड जानीत अहम Janani, that's uh, I should know. Avam Janava. So this is a bit of a tricky one. So instead of Janiva, it is Janava. Okay, this is a bit of a googly. So I'll mark that for you and Janama. Okay, and then we have the next one, which is a uh, Janat, uh, and, and that's the verb form there. Moving on to the Bhuta Kala, so it's similar. to the ajnya so you get ajanat ajanitam ajanan asto so that's again a little different there then ajanaha so jani hi becomes ajanaha that's again different a little bit there then ajanitam ajanita ajanam so janani becomes ajanam that's also a little different so i'll mark it for you then ajaniva so this is what i was saying that you need to pay attention generally fi- we find a reflection of the lot in the uh, lung or the uh, ajnya in the bhutakala but here we see that there is a little bit of a difference there and similarly for the uh, vayam also so janima uttamam ha huh? so let's say that together ajana ta jana janitam ajanan ajanaha ajanitam ajanita ajanam ajaniva and ajanima and i'd like you to try to say that um uh let's do this with the i i knew so i knew uh i knew your father how would you say that i knew your father i knew so aham ajanam whom your 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 as in the uh, informal you so aham tava janakam अजानाम अस्तु एंड इफ यू वांटेड टू से योर एज इन मैस्कुलिन अहम भवतः जनकम अजानाम एंड इफ इट वाज अ लेडी अहम भवत्याह जनकम अजानाम उत्तमम लेट्स मूव ऑन लुक एट द अनद्यतन भूत एंड द विधिलिंग सो हियर वी हैव अजानात एंड जानियात अ टेबल दैट हेल्प्स यू टू डू अ कंपैरेटिव स्टडी देयर सो अजानात becomes janiyat ajanitam becomes janiyatam uttamam ajanan janiyuhu ha huh? so that's a bit different ajanaha will become janiyah uttamam ajanitam janiyatam so ajanaha was janiyah ajanitam becomes janiyatam अजानीत जानीयात अजानाम जानीयाम अजानीव बिकम्स जानीयाव एंड अजानीम बिकम्स जानीयाम उत्तम एंड आई लाइक यू टू मेक अ यूज दिस टेबल दैट वी हैव हियर विथ दिस काइंड ऑफ एन इफ देन ऑफ द यह सह या सा एंड यत तत् सो लेट्स मेक सम सेंटेंसेस आई विल गिव यू एन एग्जांपल यह गायक भवितुम इच्छति सह संगीत जानीयात सो वन हु वॉन्ट्स टू बी अ सिंगर मस्ट नो हाउ टू सिंग ओके मस्ट नो सम सॉन्ग्स एंड म्यूजिक नेक्स्ट फॉर टीचर सो यहा शिक्षक भवितुम्छति सो दैट इज 
uh, together there saha pathan janiyati must know the lessons next one ya and lekhika all right so ya lekhika bhavitum ichhati what should she know sa lekhitum janiya she must know how to write next the one who wants to cook who wants to become a cook ya pachika bhavitum ichhati sa pakam janiya she must know how to cook uttamam and then yat yat tat so yat satyam asti tat janiyat so what is true one must know because only then one is in a more effective position to do anything about that piece of information and that's also the reason why satyam eva jayate was the motto or is the motto of our nation and in the process uh, of the whole population and many things we've lost a little track of the importance of that but we are hopeful that we'll get back on track fully on that so next yat varam that which is good or that which is better varam is better yat varam tat avashyam janiyat must know what is better so that you can improve let's move on all right let's do uh, some bhashanam there so sayam piyusha namaste arye bhavan apane aduna kim karish kim karoti aham apane idanim grihatam vastuni krinami astu anyat anyat mama mitranam krite उपहारन ग्रहिष्यामि इति चिन्तयामि तव मित्राणि जानन्ति किम् यत् त्वम् तेभ्यः उपहारान् क्रेष्यसि मित्राणि न जानन्ति परन्तु तेषां मध्ये एकं मित्रं दृष्टवान् माम् अत्र अस्तु तर्हि तर्हि तु अन्य अपि ज्ञास्यन्ति एव आम् तत्तु भविष्यं भवितुं शक्यते तत्र तु मम समस्या नास्ति अद्य श्वः वा सर्वे ज्ञास्यन्ति हरि ओम इदानीं वर्षायाः आरम्भः अभवत् यदि न अभविष्यत् तर्हि अहम् इतोपि वस्तूनि अक्रेष्यम् किन्तु चलतु शीघ्रं गच्छावः चलतु शीघ्रं मूविंग ऑन टू द वर्स सो वी हैव अ सुभाषितम् व्हिच इज व्हिच इज जानियात संगरे भृत्यान् बांधवान् व्यसनागमे आपत्कालेषु मित्राणि bharyam cha vibhavakshaye it's a very interesting uh, it's a very interesting subhashitam because it says what is the what is the measure when do you recognize an authentic uh, servant bhritya when do you recognize an uh, a good servant so it says janiyat sangare in the time of war so one knows the true character of a servant during war next Bandhavan Vyasanagame. When do you know that uh, the value of a true relative? When you get sick and you are in difficulty. Vyasanam is sickness and difficulty in general. So Bandhavan Vyasanagame. When you are in a difficult situation, the relatives who will stick by you are the ones you can count on. Apat Kaleshu Mitrani. So of friends, when you are in trouble, so when you are in, the, in difficulty, those people who stick with you are your friends and finally very interesting one he says how do you recognize a true wife he says bharyam cha vibhava kshaye so even when you have no money if your wife i would say also your husband sticks with you then you know that there is true love behind that relationship so saying that let's do a grammatical analysis janiyat sangare so the plus sa sangara being war okay जानियात संगरे and then भृत्यान बांधवान so we are all getting the पुलिंग बहु वचनम द्वितीया विभक्ति देर व्यसना गमे in the time of difficulty आपत कालेशु आपत काले is a समस्त पदम times of difficulty मित्रानी and भार्याम च विभवक्षये विभु is wealth so when that is reducing then you would know a true wife and she stays with you of course then let's move i'd like you to repeat after me jani ya sangare bhrityan bandhavan vyasanagame apat kaleshu mitrani bharyam cha vibhavakshaye hastu so a quote from shri aurobindo he says the connection with the spirit behind things because we are also trying to access certain uh, knowledge traditions 
through Sanskrit and how can we do it effectively? He says, since the knowledge uh, the scripture conveys is so deep, difficult and subtle, if it were easy, that what would be the need of the scripture? The interpreter cannot be too careful or too perfectly trained. He must not be one who will rest content in the thought symbol or in the logical implications of the idea. He must hunger and thirst for what is beyond. The interpreter who stops short with the letter is the slave of a symbol and convicted of error. The interpreter who cannot go beyond the external meaning uh, is the prisoner of his thought and rests in the partial and incomplete knowledge. One must transgress limits and penetrate to the knowledge behind, which must be experienced before it can be known. Uh, for the ear hears it and uh, the intellect observes it, but the spirit alone can possess it. Realization in the self of things is the only knowledge. All else is mere idea or opinion. So, few references for you. So, Purnam Sanskrita Jnanam Astu Vaha. So, Purnam Sanskrita Jnanam Astu. So, may you have full knowledge of Sanskrit. Astu Vaha for all of you. So, for these words, Shubham Bhavatu.